In this demo, we're going to create an application server connection in JDeveloper. Before we get started, there's a couple things I've already taken care of. I've started the WebLogic admin server and SOAS servers. They're running in the background. I've opened JDeveloper, and I've deployed an application called PO Processing, which we'll see again in just a moment. To create our application server connection, we're going to use the resource palette. If it's not displayed when you open JDeveloper, you can go to the main menu, select View, and from there, select Resource Palette. The resource palette appears on the right side of the screen. If you take a look there right now under IDE Connections, we actually see an application server connection called SOA Server. We see a folder underneath it, and we can actually see our deployed application. This tells us that it's in the application server deployed now. So let's go ahead and step through the process for actually creating an application server connection. In the resource palette to the upper left corner, we see an icon of a file with a starburst over it. When we click on it, we discover it's a menu. On that menu, we select New Connection, and then from the submenu, select Application Server. With that choice, we've invoked the Create Application Server Connection wizard. It's a five-step process. In the first step, we're going to create our connection. I'm going to give my connection a name. In this case, I'll call it My Connection. We'll leave the connection type as the default, WebLogic 10.3. Then click Next. In the authentication pane, we give username and password connectivity information. The WebLogic name is fine. For password, we're going to use Welcome1 in lowercase. It's the word Welcome and the number 1. This username and password combination was set up when your lab machine was first configured. Click Next. That brings us to the configuration pane. This is where we actually provide the substance of our connection. We provide the name of the host where the administration server is running, the port numbers it can be contacted on, and the domain we want to connect with. Our installation has used the defaults. Our admin server is running on our local machine using default port numbers, so the local host, 7001, 7002 combination are all fine. We're going to change the name of our domain, though, to SOA domain. That's lowercase SOA underscore domain. With that typed in, we click Next again. We've actually configured our connection already. What we want to do now is test it. To do that, we click the Test Connection button. The Status button reveals the outcome of a series of tests. Our goal is to see 8 out of 8 tests successful, and that's indeed what we see. Our connection is working. At this point, on the bottom of the wizard, we can either select Next or Finish. We're all done. I'm going to go ahead and select Next so you can see that last screen which gives us text confirmation that we have completed creating the connection. We can dismiss the wizard then by clicking Finish. I can draw your attention back over to the resource palette on the right side of JDeveloper where we started our conversation. We see there's been added a new connection called My Connection. And when I expand it, I see that I can indeed see my deployed application. So our new connection is working equally well as our first test connection. So that's how you create an application server connection in JDeveloper. Remember you heard it here first, and thanks for tuning in.